you're on the replay. Thank you for hopping on my video. I so appreciate you. Make sure you are dropping me a hi down in the comments. Since you're not live, I can't say hi to you. And I want to say hi to you. Make sure you are clicking that get notified button so you can join me live next time. It's way more fun. Hey guys, it is Jody Dunn coming at you live tonight. I have got some fun, fun stuff to tell you about. I want to give you an update. Um... I did a tutorial, so we'll do the update first. So I did a tutorial yesterday on the new Jacqueline Hill Morphe palette that I got. And I have to give you guys an update. So I did a green look yesterday, which I really liked. So here, in case you didn't see, here is the gorgeous palette that I got. It has all these beautiful, beautiful colors in it. Yesterday, I did a look with this color, this color, and maybe that one. I can't remember which other one I used over here. So last night, as I often do, <laughs> I wanted to play with some different eyeshadow colors to just see how they looked on. And just because I like playing with eyeshadow. So I did um, this color right here, which is so, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful, you guys. And then I did, so I did my whole eye with this color on one eye. And then on the other eye, I did um, this color on the whole eye. And let me tell you what, those colors are gorgeous. <clears throat> Here's my update. An hour after I put the colors on, I looked in the mirror. You guys, <laughs> I had eyeshadow all over underneath my eye. All over. I have no idea why. I have never, ever had an eyeshadow do that to me before. Um, I did not put setting spray on it, so maybe that will help. Um, but... I told you guys that I would highly recommend this palette because it does have all these gorgeous colors in it. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm not sure if you need setting powder. I'm not sure if it's just the ingredients that are in the eyeshadow. I'm not sure, but I literally have never had that experience with eyeshadow before. And as the night continued to go on, it got worse and worse. Like it ended up all over my nose, all under my eyes. I don't know why. And I was like so mortified, but I was so thankful that I didn't put it on like before I went to work and go to work and end up with eyeshadow all over my face. But uh, you guys, like look at how beautiful that is. It is a gorgeous color. I mean, these colors are so pretty. And I did wear um, some lighter pink colors, I think a couple of days ago, and I didn't have any problem with those colors coming off. So I don't know why this one and this one, they were all over my freaking face, you guys. So I just wanted you to know, if you were thinking about buying the palette, like I said yesterday, I did find that it was, you know, a pretty good deal. I think the palette was like 35 or 38 bucks. The shipping was absolutely outrageous. I think it was nine bucks for shipping. So, but for all those colors, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And I know that the palette is really popular. So I just wanted you guys to be aware. If you, <laughs> you want to comment below or send me a message, I took a picture. It is a horrifying looking picture, so I'm not going to post it. But if you want to see what my eyes look like an hour after I put those two colors on, I will send the picture to you privately. <laughs> hey guys, say hi if you're on. Hey Kelly, thanks for joining. All right, you guys, I have to tell you what a fabulous day I had today. And I got some new clothes and I do not, I just don't go shopping for myself very often at all because I really don't love shopping. I'll be honest. Um, part of that is because of the my body shape and it is challenging for me to find clothes that flatter me and that I like and that fit 
Okay, so I would probably say I have an hourglass figure. Although saying you have an hourglass figure sounds very sexy. <laughs> I have an hourglass figure, but I have a lot of extra weight, you guys. So I have a large shop. My waist is small and my hips and my butt are big. So it's very challenging for me to find clothes that fit and, and really that flatter my body shape. And if you have, it doesn't matter what body shape you have. We all have challenges in different areas. So I wanted to tell you about this little, um, kind of like a little shop that I found and what an amazing experience I had. So I got this new top and I love the color. It is gorgeous. And let me see if I can kind of show you. It's kind of like, can you see? It's kind of like fitted down here, but it's loose where I don't feel like uncomfortable in it. But that is my problem. If I find clothes that will go over my hips and my butt, then they're like huge everywhere else. So that is a challenge for me. So um, I found this little shop, like I said, it is in Linden and she is local. Her name is Melinda and she, you guys, she is amazing, amazing. She took so much time with me to go through like different outfits and what would look good for my body type and my body shape. Um, you know, we tried on, I tried on so many different things and, you know, she was very honest with me. She, if I, I would come out with an outfit on and she would be like, that's not as flattering as we want it to be. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I like this one. She's like, yep, take that one off. That's not your style. So she was really so incredibly helpful. So I got this shirt in pink because I don't hardly have any light colored clothing. I also got it in black <laughs> because I love black. Black is slimming and it's so neutral and it goes with anything. So I love the style. It's like a three, four sleeve, if you can see. So, and like I said, it's like fitting, fitted right down here. So even though I'm heavier, it's a very flattering shirt on me. My 20-year-old my came home and she was like, oh, mom, I love that shirt on you. It's really flattering. And I was like, yes, I found a good one. Um, I got a long skirt, you guys, which I hardly ever wear skirts because, I don't know, I just can never find one that fits my shape. Um, if they are like three-quarter length, it makes me look shorter and chubbier. So I either have to go with like a long, long skirt or I have to go with like right at the knee level so that I just don't look shorter and chubbier than I already am. But I found this and oh, it's so pretty, you guys. So it is long. Isn't that gorgeous? And I got a white tank to go with it. And I'll take some pictures of these, but oh, the clothes are so soft so incredibly soft. I obviously will come back and update you on how they wash and things like that to make sure that, you know, they they wash well and don't like fade or shrink or anything like that. I don't typically dry my clothes. I wash them on cold anyways. Um, but the brand of the clothing, I had never ever heard of this before, is Agnes and Dora. And they are primarily, I think she said, and I will have to ask her, um, but I think she said like 80 or 85% made in the USA, and I love that. I absolutely love that because obviously I want to support things that are made in the USA because I'm in the USA and I'm an American, right? So, and a lot of times um, you guys saw, well, you probably saw my magnetic eyelash video. Um, that stuff came right from China and we saw how that worked. No offense to China, but you don't always get great, um, quality things. So I loved that the line is primarily made in the USA. I got a dress. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn a dress in so long and I loved it because I felt a little bit sexy in it, you guys. <laughs> in 
a long time. It was very fitted on top. And um, I got a belt with it, so it accentuated that I do have a smaller waist, but it kind of like made the girls look good, which sometimes that can be challenging to do. So I'll take a picture of that one or I'll come on video and show you guys that one. But Melinda was so incredibly helpful, you guys. I would highly, highly recommend her. She does ship. Um, if somebody wants to order something online, they can. But she is so fabulous with taking time and really like helping you pick out because I, I've i talked about this several times. I am so completely fashion challenged. I don't have the patience for it and I get frustrated when I go shopping because nothing ever seems to look good on me. And so I just give up and then, you know, I have clothes that are five, six, ten years old that I'm still wearing because I just get too frustrated going shopping. So I'm super excited that I have some new clothes. And she has um, some kids clothes, which you guys have to see these outfits that I got for the girls. Oh my gosh, they are super cute. My girls are like, they only want leggings. They only want leggings. I took them school shopping. They absolutely despise jeans. They don't want jeans. They didn't want to try on jeans. They didn't want to buy them. I found these adorable, adorable kids outfits. Girls, okay. They're going to show them to you. And she's having an in-store special on the kids outfits, you guys. So if you've got little girls, you need to message me or let me know in the comments that you want her information and I will get it to you. But I want to show you guys the girls outfits are so cute. Okay, let me see if I can turn this around. Yeah, she does have a website, Kelly, uh, or Meredith, I'm sorry. I will... Um, I'll get it for you. Um, I'm just doing, never mind. I don't know. I'm screwing up my lighting here. All right, let's see. Okay. Should come a little bit closer and show them. Okay. <laughs> Back up. Show them. All right, let's see if we can do this. Can you see how stinking cute these leggings are? And then look at how cute vibs are. I couldn't figure out how to turn my camera around. Aren't those so cute, you guys? Oh my gosh, she had a ton, a ton of kids leggings. So if you have little girls, um, I think they went, boy, I really screwed up my lighting here. There, okay, that might be better. Um, I think she had like, I, I, I don't quote me because I wasn't looking at smaller sizes. My girls are in size 8 and 10, um, and she had smaller sizes as well. And I think she had the next size up from what my girls are as well. And she's having an in-store special on the kids' clothes. So great time to take advantage, especially with kids going back to school. And I don't know if you have girls. I don't know how your girls feel about jeans. My girls hate it. They want to wear leggings. So she had so many cute leggings. So I was so excited. I had an amazing day today and I'm sweating, <laughs> okay. but I got my cute, I got my cute pink shirt on. I love it. So I wanted to share that with you guys. She is so, so awesome. And again, if you commented and you want information, I will get you her information. She is local. Um, she's in Linden. So I don't know. That was like a 20 minute drive for me or something like that, which was no big deal to me. Um, so, and it's just in a private setting. So you're not like in a store, which that's probably another reason why I hate shopping. Um, she has, you know, a nice little dressing room for you to try it on. And, and she was just absolutely amazing with helping me. So wanted to let you guys know about that. And I also wanted to give you an update on the issue that I had with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. In case you were thinking about buying it, I'm not saying I don't recommend it. However, I've never had I should fall out like that before. So wanted to give you a heads up on that. All right, you guys, that is what I have for you tonight. I will, um, like I said, I will go through and get you guys information if you want information on her shop. She has 
absolutely adorable clothes and I would highly recommend you checking it out. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous evening and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.